I thought that I'd try something a little bit different so I'm going to have a go at a waterfall so I'm just starting off I haven't bothered wetting the uh, paper incidentally this time um, so I'm just starting off with a very watery green this is like the uh, background distant background so I want it very light light tones it's just mixtures of lemon yellow a little bit of ultramarine and uh, raw sienna and I'm painting around what will be the, the top the top of the waterfall so it's all, it's all done with a large hike brush I've got the usual the usual colours but this paint is predominantly a lot of green now before I go any further I just want to make sure that that's dry I'm just using a, a dry a dry rigger brush there just to help soak up those pools of water that are gathered at the bottom there so just speeds up the dry with the hair dry so now I'm sure that that's all dry again we can continue So just starting on this, this will be the, the left hand side of the waterfall and it's uh, similar mixes again but just slightly just slightly stronger I'm just trying to define the the, 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 the left hand side, the, the sort of wall Now I'm just using the corner of the brush just to suggest a few a few uh, flowers and leaves and stuff. I'll do a few more in a bit. So moving over onto the right hand side, just a quick sweep down. Again, same sort of colour, lemon yellow, ultramarine and raw sienna for these green mixes. Just a few little delicate strokes. Now working on the uh, the right hand side, you can see I'm, I've got into I've used a bit of Payne's grey now just to get some real dark. These are uh, all the green plants and, and things growing on the uh, the cliffs here down by the waterfall. But because it's like closer to the foreground, it's stronger mixes, even stronger. A lot more pines grey, along with the uh, the raw sienna and the lemon yellow. Now I've gone really dark. Now I'm just using the corner of the brush just to put some leaves where there's uh, sort of a overhanging bushes and stuff growing up there. Slight touches with the very corner of the hike, and then the same over on the left hand side, just to add a bit of interest there up the top and a uh, sort of contrast to the to the cliffs up there. And just a few scrapes out with the fingernail, just to always do it when it's about half that half dry because if you do it when it's too wet the, it'll just fill back in and you'll lose it 
but obviously do it before it gets too dry because otherwise you won't be able to do it at all. So there are the two uh, the bushes either side of the waterfall. Now coming down the left hand side to like the little uh, cliff bit that goes towards the water. You can see how it's gone really dark now. Lots of lemon yellow, plenty of ultramarine, pines grey. And then the same on the right hand side. As, as we come closer and closer to the foreground, I want, to, I want the colours richer and richer, very strong, dark tones there. I'm still just trying to vary it up, just constantly dipping into the palette. Just varying the colour. But at this stage, lots of paint, not so much water. As a general rule, I tend to use more water in the background to keep everything light and distant, and then more and less water in the foreground, stronger paints, darker colours, darker tones. And then I left that little bit in the right hand corner just to put a little bit of red, raw sienna red, just to, just as a a contrast to the dark, just to break up the, that, that dark area a little bit. And I'm doing a similar thing over on the left hand side. Again, never I never do more than a couple of strokes. Really, before changing the um, changing the colour, a few scrapes out again with the fingernail. It's still a bit damp there, so it hasn't really been quite as effective. It's very easy to uh, to overdo the the scraping, so I'll, I'll try and keep it as subtle as I can. But you can see how you got, you've got the sort of the white water spray, and now if you put it really dark in front of it to help with the contrast, so you, you can really see the, the profile of the cliffs, edges. Now over on this left hand side, it, there's a uh, there's lot it's more rocks. There's not there's no sort of green growing on these rocks. So I've gone. It's predominantly sort of blue, blue brown, ultramarine, burnt umber mix to get that sort of grey, grey rock colour. Brilliant. I mean, you can see how I've done sort of strokes in different directions just to break it up again and, and suggest the rocks sort of going in all sorts of places. You can see the it's it's taking shape now. You can you can see where the water's going to flow from the bottom of the from the base of the waterfall. 